This is the hairography. <laughs> that was good. with the kiss, okay? It's like, her and Emerly were in the wrong places. Our rector is the one who told us. All of the coffee. This was just one day for me. <laughs> I know, I'm in line. I don't think that's good. So right now we're at CBC, which is where Dance Mania is being held, and it's very, very exciting. Fun fact, CN Tower is right there. And we will see it sitting right at the top. <laughs> Oh, the sets are amazing. This is such like an iconic place for Canadian broadcasting in general. So it's really cool just to be here and filming the next step. It's the first time we've ever filmed here. This building is amazing. Dance Mania Sage. 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 Dance Mania Sage. The Dance Mania is full of lights and it's amazing. so exciting. Like this finale is going to be absolutely insane. It's probably the best one yet. Yeah. So the here, obviously, it's big and new, so we're still trying to find everything. I didn't get a coffee for like 10 minutes when I got here this morning, which was crazy because normally it's in the first 30 seconds. The stage, the energy, the people, it's amazing. It's so fun. And with these people, too, you know, it's a great time. Can I show them the view? Oh, you want to show them me? Oh, oh, not that view. <laughs> fun fact the CN Tower is the highest man made point in North America. I didn't know that. As There's Drake. Guys, right? That's a good. That's Drake, a really Drake's good up there. It's always really fun, and it brings a whole new like level of energy, and also just, just fun. Uh, I do have actual fear of heights. Yeah. Yes. Like I have actual fear of heights. They, they didn't know that. So not ten like. Ten. You're ten stories up in the air, and I don't like heights. So, and I'm the one person leaning on the window at all the scenes. Are we lunch? Oh, I need to go to lunch. The move I was doing? Oh, I was hitting a wall. The like whole group see? just. Five, six, seven, oh, eight. Whoa. Yeah. Just really put the shoulder into it. Just, let's do a Zen Woo together. Five. You missed our sprinkler. <laughs> I don't like him. He just annihilated. Done. Over. It's over. Hard ice? Who is that? We don't know. Leave the stage. We beat them. Goodbye. It's actually really good. I don't know what we were so worried about. Ozzy yeah. killed it. It was really good. Ozzy nailed it. So like, I'm not worried at all. Are we allowed to say like well, basically the fate of A Troop lies in Ozzy's hands because he is the one performing the resurrection round solo. This is very, very, very big for Ozzy. Ozzy was always considered the little guy, not serious, always the joker, not very mature, not responsible. But then, this is a very big thing for him. It was amazing, what? I was not ready for that. Because I know, see, I know Julian can do that stuff though. But it's just fun to see him do it on stage and like as a team, like, we're all like, a Troop is not too happy about this, right? Like initially when Ozzy's name gets called on, A Troop's super bummed out, they don't think he's gonna pull it off. Ozzy himself doesn't think he's gonna pull it off. And then he goes out there, does a killer musical theater solo, he rocks it, and the judges love it, and the next step obviously survives. Oh, no, no, no. So it is not our we, fault. We probably ran this scene oh. like three times already. Just and obviously it. we have to stand in line to show the word. Her and Emerly were in the wrong places. Okay, and then Stop. the director, the director is the one who told us to stand in those places. He's like, he's like, you misspelled, and like it was the whole thing. Three takes already, or like two. I'm two on those tall. Full takes of the scene. Full takes. They of the say scene. jump. I say how high. They say stand there, spell it wrong. I say okay. My bad. I just want to make that clear though. I didn't spell it wrong. You did spell it wrong. No one else caught it. We no, because, because it, it, it's not like we get Angel, halo, I'm gonna put my halo, you know what to do. 
Ding. Explain story. Okay, because if we're in line, we're, we can't see the order. We don't know. They told so us to stand I, there. I totally get it. It's not your fault. It's not like you would see it all now. Um, you come here. So I think this is very crucial for Ozzy's confidence, Ozzy as a person, just because it's a big moment for him. He's never really had something this significant. Um, on his plate at all in the show. Everyone's saying that we spelled it wrong on camera. You spelled what wrong? Our fault. This. Key. It was definitely not our fault because uh, it was better not than pointing than fingers, but somebody in a powerful position of power put us there. So we just listen. We listen. We follow instructions because we're good people. And we stood there. And they said it was wrong. It's not my fault. Ozzy obviously still has a lot to learn within dance and this and that, but I think. I think he could start looking at things a little bit differently and going through this experience has definitely taught him a lot so when he goes into the future he could be a lot more responsible and mature. Presenting from the red corner, Lombardi Julian aka Ozzy standing at 5 foot 10 with shoes, about 150 pounds, standing in the blue corner, standing at 6 foot 1, 190. We got Liam Mackey. <laughs> Who do you think will win? I think I got next. I bench his weight, so. So, I've heard a lot about this song and dance that Finn's gonna do, but I haven't heard it, I haven't seen it, I have no idea what's going to happen when I walk through those doors. The big whole song and dance thing for Piper. I've actually never realized how difficult it is to sing and dance at the exact same time until it happened. It was my first time actually recording a song and going to an actual uh, recording studio actually like singing like I was in the booth with whoa I'm really excited I've heard great things when Liam first found out that he was doing it he was like oh my gosh like he was just so stunned at first I was like all right it's kind of it's whatever I, I, I'm kind of excited but then they're like they sent me the actual like lyrics of the song and it kind of just stressed me out even more and then I was just like yeah okay I'll do that when is it? They're like Wednesday, like two days from now. I'm like, oh, perfect. Finn's about to propose to marry and marry Piper. Did you say Amy? I said Piper. She said Amy. She, she low-key wants it to happen. <laughs> there was a singing coach beside me, and he got me to sound my best. Uh, obviously, there's lots of sound editing and mastering that goes involved, and lots of auto tune because I don't have the best singing voice. And as Piper too, there's a lot of emotion happening. She goes in and she really upset and angered by Finn, so it has to be a complete turnaround as Piper to go like, okay, I'm really upset with you, and then to like, okay, I love you. <laughs> so. It's so cute. We just watched it for the first time. I know Alex has never heard the actual song, but it's so cute. They played the song and it was walking, but I haven't heard the song yet. I have no idea what's happening. And I, I'm confused. There's oh, something, a prop. It actually, you know what it is? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm playing it up for camera. Isn't that what our job is? Hey, I, wish, I wish someone did that to me. Like, it just, you're gonna love it. It's the sweetest little moment. I'm really excited, but at the start of the scene, I have to be still really mad with Finn, so. I can take my excitement for when the scene actually starts, but I'm very interested to see what happens. You want the dash, oh my baby, won't you come back soon? He's actually good. What? Like, I was expecting it to be kind of jokes. But he was actually good. I was like, this is actually serious. I think he should, like, make this his career. <laughs> That's what we take one. I'm drained. Yo, no, credits to all the singers out there. You're breathing, man. 
I was not, obviously. <laughs> the first take was super rough, because I didn't really know what to expect, and I was drained with energy, like I had nothing left in the tank. So right after I was done, my song and dance to Piper, she was like, so we're going to the finale tomorrow. And I was like, yes, and then we're doing this, and then we're going to that, and then we have an on stage rehearsal at 11.30, then we have lunch at one, and then we have a, and it was like, I've never struggled to speak before. I've never, I've never, I've never had trouble saying words before after being so exhausted. So I just want to know where is Killy's love, dance, romance song? Because <clears throat> Henry sang to Amy on the stairs, and now Finn is singing Piper on the stage. So I better be getting some hot air balloons, some confetti, some Beyonce there. Like, let's go. All right, bet. Watch your it is down. So I think it's a really romantic gesture and it proves that Finn and Piper were meant to be together. It worked out. I got Piper back and I got her to forgive me. At the end of the day, that's all I was trying to do and it worked, so... I think she liked it! I think she liked it! I don't know, no one gave me the memo. Apparently I'm the only one here. Oh, here they come. Why are you pointing? Late as ever. Oh, hey! Oh, hi. Hi. Like, I, I had two lines and I was just chilling, this watching is amazing the best dance. Like, they're incredible. Ever. So, it's been fun. I cannot I imagine a most, oh, like, more yeah, chill and fun day, day to be at work. Like, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Everyone's so amazing and I live, I want to cry. Like, it's so good. I feel like the I really least talented oh. person in the room. <laughs> this, this confirms to me that yeah, I am the least there. talented person. <laughs> I see yes. miles freaking out I, I'm, I'm losing my mind. These guys are so good. I'd be surprised by something that would be like, oh my god, that's so cool. And I would just look at Emily and just be like, oh my gosh, that was so amazing. But like, have to frown. So that was hard, but yeah. Really oh, thank you. <laughs> and then there's two brothers that are here uh, Michael and Kevin. I was right. Uh, they play hard ice. Oh my gosh, they're crazy. So they were right now doing the scene where Ozzy is going to dance battle slash. What's the name of it? Resurrection against um, Curtis or Kevin from uh, Hard Ice. So it's gonna be super exciting. I'm super hyped up on coffee beans. So I'm like, Ooh. but I'm gonna interview. I'll interview. Can I pull him away? I got this. Watch this. Got it. I got it. Turn this off. She's got him. Let me say it. <laughs> we got. Hard Ice here. We got Hard Ice, which is we got Michael who plays, and we got Kevin who plays. Curtis. Work. So this is the team that we get to dance a battle against for well, the Resurrection. Battle, like, Ozzy does against he dance battles. Curtis. Mm -hmm. Work. How did it feel? How was it? How did it feel? It was really fun. You know. How's the experience so far been of the day? Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's been really good. Competing in Dance Mania is really fun. Uh, we did a duet earlier this morning, and then I just did my solo to battle against. Audi. Which were both incredible, by the way. Like, we amazing. were all freaking out. Shook. No words were coming out, but. Shook. Yeah. What was more pressure? Is that right? What was more pressure? Yeah. Having a dance or having a talk on camera? It's it's so different yeah. actually. Is there pressure? Do you feel a, li a little bit of pressure because you have to be able to deliver the line. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, my one line. <laughs> you killed that oh, line. Though. One line is still alive. alive. He said. And I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, I have lines. Uh huh. Right? What do you do with that? Well, Did I know though? What, 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 what was more what? Until this morning. What, so, a great day. Oh, um, okay. I don't know if these guys got introduced. Their name is Flo XS. They're yes. one of the hottest brother dancer couple in the city. They're crazy. We actually this grew up in Mr. the same Hair. city. This was Mr. Everything. You know what it do. Uh -huh. Yo, then this is Mr. Um, absolutely amazing, and I can do everything. Yeah, right? oh, oh, oh. You see this community? This is the Toronto community. We're hyping each other up. We all love each other. Exactly. It's all love. Yes, yeah. community. Yes, 2K yes. forever. What? Bam. What? Shout out Toronto. Toronto. Oh, you don't know Toronto. Toronto. Look at all my base. Oh, you're in Toronto too. No, so, okay, can you relax for a minute? Shout out Toronto. Bah! <laughs> it was actually a fan that made the video for me. Yeah, you also this way. It's all like. No, no, no. Can we finish this? Can we wait for him? Okay, roll it up. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm glad everyone interrupted our interview because it was actually getting really organized, but it's fine, not matter anything. Yeah. The energy in the room today was really, really cool. I mean, usually we're filming on set and it's like mostly the same set every day and we don't see many people from the outside and it's just like core cast members and like some guests. But like it feels really real and infectious when everyone's in here and there's all these kids and they're so excited. It's so real and we've never done anything like this before where we're actually like in the audience. Like this is the first time I was telling Shelby, this is the first time we're actually in the audience. That was fun too. Yeah. And I mean, next to that stiff competition, there were some really good dances. Today. Yeah, like all the dancers were amazing. They were like every year it's just like more and more. And like, yeah. I honestly had the best day. Like for the majority of it, I was just sitting and like watching and like eating snacks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we had snacks like in, in the seat in front of us. <laughs> it was actually against Josh, we did redemption like literally against each other. <laughs> actually, Josh and Denise, two are both here. Sure. They were a duet and they were against me in redemption on like yeah, the world dance show, so that's really funny. Josh and Denise, we have to do redemption. Yeah. <laughs> So it's been a pretty crazy experience um, now that we're actually on the Dance Mania set. Uh, it's pretty crazy, like even though we're acting, but standing and listening to the judges' comments after we did our our first routine was pretty surreal because it really brought me back to World of Dance and uh, I almost felt like I was living it again, but I kind of was like, oh wait, this is not real. We're just filming a TV show. So yeah, it's been pretty crazy and the energy is really good here. As you can see, we have a boat behind us and uh, so that kind of ties in with our story. Uh, we're, we're actually part of the uh, the Navy SEALs and what my love falls into the ocean and we all have to try and rescue her and bring her back into the boat. So that's where the boat comes into play. Yeah, so we are doing tricks off the boat and stuff. The stage, there's little, if you look, there's little cracks in it. We're hoping the, uh, we're hoping it doesn't pop while we're dancing. <laughs> It was really cool to see Rochelle really grow up and mature and become really independent. I think that was different for her because she's so used to always being with the team. So to step away for a second and to really find herself and see if she could find her own was was such a new dynamic for her. Oh, I know. They made me look so bad. I was like going in for hug with and they like cut it out. Cut it out. And like leave it there. Like right after that, they're like, come on. It's okay. Me in the beginning, it fixing my saw. That's why my face was wow. What an interruption. Piper is liked as an ex. It just wasn't reflected as well in that video. Okay. It was just so different for me because usually I'm used to being with the team and Rochelle's used to being around them all the time. But this time I was like just a loner for most of the time and the team hated me. But but I think it was really good for her to explore because um, you know she she is very driven and to a certain point I can see why she would want to see if she could do something by herself. So I was really proud to be able to bring her to that point. But um, by the end, it was really sweet to see the way that we all came together to finish off the season. So, but it's just really cool to see Rochelle like grow up and like mature and just kind of like take leadership of the team now that Noah's not here for a mouse. such an inclusive group and we're such a family and you see we respect everyone but we always include people yeah you don't even have to audition for features even when they walk out of the studio even when they walk out of the studio even when they tell everyone to go in the back row and are a terrible dance captain and beat us with sticks <laughs> even when they're going to quit dance completely 
and they're so upset that they did not get on a true. Well, and even know. when still, they, they leave the studio because they, like, know they know there's something better, even though they come back. Yeah. 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 So, so, like, it's not about where you go in the journey, it's about where you end up. Yes. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited. It literally is really? I'm so excited. I, like, I, I've been Thinking thinking of that last scene. Stand up. That's our last, our last routine that we're doing right before we go to nationals. And we've been working real hard on it, and it's looking crispy. And they walked in on us doing a great dance to it's our an amazing band. dance to stand up, which is like, up. which is pretty much like the next step. It is intro. A, yeah, it's the intro song. I don't think you guys are ready for how good this is. Yeah. No, you're not. Dance Tomorrow is better than any A oh. troop dance. Like, Ooh. Yeah, I, I just are went there. Are you saying that? I just said that. I, I can't, I can't backflip. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't. But do that doesn't matter because I could. We got the sweetness. We got the sweetness. Well, I got the sweetness. Hey, yeah. it's a tribute to season one. Can I demonstrate? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not that good. I'm not the best person to demonstrate. Eldon, he goes like up, then I'm not the best person to demonstrate. Eldon, he goes like up. So we have Presley doing that iconic move, which is so fun. And then the dance is like us all coming together. So yeah. it starts off with just one on stage, and then you see a couple more of us come in. It's very And then more and more and more. So it's us coming together, kind of trying to take on nationals, nationals and yeah. take on the challenges that we're going to face leading up to nationals. Yeah. Hmm. B troop this season, you really get to see like the entire troop and you get to see each individual person. Whereas in seasons past, it's just been you get yeah, to know like a couple bad. of the B troopers. We'll, we'll see what happens. Nobody knows what's coming. I think just to make the best team, you can comment below what you think. Cool. Who's gonna going happen. Cool. A or B? B troop. Yeah. You know, you guys may not know this yet. But the next step is always going to be a family. I can't, I and e will always be a home. Every time you guys dance together might be the last time. So it's so, so important that you do the best you can. Because you will remember this experience for your entire lives. Where am I? Is this a forest with one tree? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ah! So this dance is our final dance at Dance Mania. <laughs> and it's Alice in Wonderland, as you can see. And it was so fun. We, we really got to play our character today. Especially in the last one, I felt comfortable with it. I was like, okay, I am the best. Mm -hmm. And like, we don't have character pieces normally, so these are really, really fun to do. Yeah, it was fun to like, play around with makeup too. Like, the makeup artists got to have free, free range to like, do whatever they want. <laughs> that was, was good. It was such so a fun, fun And just, oh, I love those team huddles, and we're saying like, okay, we got this. And, like, do it. It's bittersweet. It's like, so bittersweet. This is the finale and this is the last group dance that we all have. This is the next level of regionals. Yeah, we won regionals last year. And then to go to like the next level this year and like, hey, we're here as a team, we're doing this together with Rochelle, even if it disqualifies us, like that just proves that the next step is always a team, always gonna be team. Always even team. you know, whatever happens. Always evolving and like yeah. the evol like the evolution seems real. Like the fact yeah. that like the set is bigger and yeah. like, there's more people and like Every year they just take it that much further yeah. and like I feel like we're all growing as people and like sure. it's just yeah. Aww. It's really cool Aww. and fun. I and love I'm gonna it so much. Yeah. Or just, like, yeah. Take these off because I cried them off. Like first our first rehearsal was just like a lunch table that we were using and then we only worked with a prof like a week. Not even a week ago. A week no. Right? It was Not like even last a week ago. So. Yo, what's up? We just wrapped up our dance mania day three or four. Four. Day four. We just did our Alice in Wonderland piece. It was incredible. And yeah, it's it a it's a piece that Trevor and Jordan from season one, the OGs, they got to choreograph for us, and it was incredible. It was a mix of hip hop and contemporary fusionish. It was uh, about Alice in Wonderland, so we all had our own kind of characters to go off of. So it was really cool to do a character piece for our last dance. Yeah, and the cool thing is, like storyline wise, Briar Rochelle isn't supposed to be with us, and then she hops in and does this dance with us as the Queen of Hearts. Mm -hmm. Then we get disqualified, but. 
it's all good in the end because we did it as a team and we love each other and that's all that matters. It's all what the next step is about. It's about like being a team, you know, being and loving team, each other. together. It's about, yeah, it's, I think we kind of talked about it, it's kind of ironic because it's talking about not being a kid anymore and this is our last dance of the season. We, A lot of us have been together for at least two years, some yeah. even more than that. So it's, I don't know, it was, big, it was a big moment. We've all grown yeah. a lot. Yeah, I feel like this is like a, a step. A Definitely a step, the next step. Awkward. But yeah, um, it was a step. We're not, we're not kids anymore. We're, we're young adults stepping into the professional world and we're all excited to, to take on this journey with each other and support each other mm -hmm. and we love each other and it's just there and I was so just... emotional when we were doing a pep talk before we went I was like oh man yeah so he didn't come this far just to come this far yeah and he like, said that and it brought a tear to my eye because if you think about it we didn't come this far just to come this far think wow. about it even though we've wow. grown up not everything's changed <laughs> wow that was inspirational Get it on a t-shirt. No. We didn't come this far just to come this far. You gotta do one last. Oh, bet. Ready? Five, six. We didn't come this far just to come this Hold on, hold on. Far. Change color. Boom. Push it Splash away. of red. Bow. Oh, my bad. Splash of green. Bow. Splash of blue. Bow. And then push it this way. It's gonna, it's gonna slingshot though. It's on a conveyor belt. And it comes back. Whoa, where'd it go? Reverb. Reverb, it's still here. It's still oh, here. Say less. And then we're gonna push it. And this one's gonna shoot. Wow. Dang! Wow, it's gone. It's gone. I don't tell you guys enough, but I love you. And I am so, so proud of each and every one of you and the person you have become. So let's go kill this dance. So these four episodes for Emily are definitely a bit challenging. Um, She's made her decision and she's just kind of working through that and deciding how to let everybody know and she's being very Emily about it, which in that sense being it's like she's not really making it about her, she's trying to make it about the team. She's being strong and just like moving forward, but it's a big change in her life um, and obviously a big change in mine as Alexandra as well. So just staying in that right headspace is going to be a little bit challenging, but I think we all got to resolve some really good stuff. You know, the show started with a rivalry between us and to end on this note of like, wow, like I'm moving on and then you decide to move on. It's just, it's so emotional. On the day when we were filming it, it was really hard for me to film too. I haven't asked you about it. Like, yeah. it's, it's crazy. I mean, you kind of went through the same thing this season. Yeah. I mean, you got a party, but um, <laughs> in that moment or in the lead up to that moment, Emily kind of decides to, to believe in herself and comes to terms with the fact that the next step, you know, is a great part of her past, but is essentially her past. Yeah. Um, and I think with the, you know, invention of Nick this season, um, she had such great hands to, to leave it in. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was sad, it was hard, but ultimately, I think a really, really good end of the storyline that's yeah. taken me seven years to complete. I feel okay. I feel like I, I might cry. High chance I cry when we're closer to it. Um, but it's good. I've done like, it's such a good arc. Almost everyone. But you never really like go anywhere in the world when you stuff, you know? <laughs> you can always come home. Yeah, Nick's gonna need help. Mm -hmm. And everybody, that is a season wrap on Alex. But I do really love the fact that like we are like together mm -hmm. in the eyes of like the future of the next step. It's also awesome for the audience to see like what could possibly happen when people leave the next step. You know what I mean? Yeah, like definitely. I think it'd be there'll definitely still be a lot of bickering. A lot of sure. back and forth. Um but the one thing about Michelle and Emily that I think has always kind of persevere throughout our relationship is that they do respect each other professionally. One thousand percent. Yeah, in a professional setting for sure. I like literally like I don't see Emily and Michelle living together per se, but I do see Emily and Michelle spending a lot of time together by choice. Yeah. You yeah. know, like okay, we're working they together. They might lie about it. Like, yeah, like, okay, like we okay, might okay, as well, well just get dinner and discuss this. Yeah, contract. like totally. But like it's yeah. one of those funny friendships where you're like I like hate that I like you. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Because they're so opposite, right? They're so opposite. But I think I don't know. Like I, I would love to think that like the tour was a hit and that there was. Just oh, more it's a big hit. It's a huge hit. From it, it's a huge hit. And then I think going down the line, like let's say five years from now, what Emily and Michelle do is that we take some of the best dancers from the next step mm -hmm. and we integrate them into that. the tour. I Obviously, Michelle that. will always be the star. 
Thank you. But Emily, it negotiates all their contracts and she gets the managers. And she's a businesswoman. And they have basically a talent roster. Yeah. That they can they can choose from. How and Michelle cool would that is the be? face. Now that we're kind of at the end of seven seasons and both Victoria and I have kind of prepared for the next step, we just want to say thank you for watching us for seven years. The endless support over the years has been absolutely insane and like I don't think we could have ever asked for better fans yeah. in the world. You guys yeah. are so loyal, you're so dedicated to us, and thank you so much for being steppers. We love you! We love you. I think the send-off is perfect for Emily, but I wouldn't have wanted anything else. I think I know her the best, <laughs> um, and I think, I think this is exactly what she would have wanted.